Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is We All Juggle Knives with a video on this cool book. It's Swiss Army Knife Whittling. 43 projects. A lot of my viewers own Swiss Army Knives. Did you know that you can whittle with just a Swiss Army Knife if you have this book? Here's the table of contents. You know, they have the getting started, utensils, toys. Basically, it's organized from the easiest projects to the most complicated projects, and I have been working my way through. It even contains a little section on how to reprofile, reshape the small blade on a Swiss Army knife to be better for whittling. And he also recommends that you grind off the little key ring in case it gets in your way. Now, I did not do that to mine because... I just used the large blade, but for the more advanced projects, now here's a fork. Yeah, the chapter on utensils is probably the most useful stuff. I like that part of the book a lot. And behold, yes, my first utensil, that is the fork I made. Now they do have a step-by-step, -step, uh, you know, a series of pictures on how to exactly make it, but I tried to make it look like the picture, and I think I did pretty good. I also made that uh, wooden knife. Now, it's wood, so, you know, it's not going to cut things, but, well, actually, you can use it to cut your pancakes, your scrambled eggs. You can spread some jam with it. So, you know, it's basically like a breakfast knife. And the knife I used for the Whittling is this, my Victorinox Ranger. I love the Victorinox Ranger. And I also found that the saw was useful just for getting the little branches to be the right length. Yeah, there's a look at that. I will include an Amazon link to the Ranger and, of course, to the Whitling book. The book is not very expensive, okay? It's under $10 if you buy a used one on Amazon. Here is another thing I have carved. It is a wooden training knife. Yeah, and I put some grip on it as well. And now... You know, depending on how pointed you make this, it's either a training knife or it's a wooden shank, you know. But it's basically just a, a fun time little, little project. Now I hacked the basic shape out of a piece of firewood with a hatchet. Okay, so I didn't use... This isn't from the book. But I hacked out the basic shape with a hatchet, and then I did use the Swiss Army knife to basically shape it a lot more so it looks like you know one of those wooden training knives right so there's a lot of fun things you can do with uh with whittling and carving right and your swiss army knife you know i guess theoretically i could have not used the hatchet it just would have taken a hell of a lot longer because it's a big piece of wood but there you go you can make cool stuff with merely your swiss army knife and some ingenuity Right, here's some other stuff. You got a sailboat. You got a little bow and arrow. These are the more advanced projects. You know, you can make roosters. Some of them look pretty difficult to make, but pretty darn cool. And coming up, brace yourself for uh, the ultimate squirrel. There, there you go. The ultimate squirrel. So yeah, this will keep you busy. It's fun. Be careful. You could... You know, you can cut yourself. Just start slow. Be careful with Whitling. But I enjoy this book, and I figured you guys would too, simply because most of my subscribers have at, one, at least one Swiss Army knife. Whitling is a fun way to pass the time, and, you know, it is practical to be able to make your utensils, make your fork, make your spoon, because that's one less thing you'd have to actually carry with you out into the woods. And it's also kind of fun looking around for different shaped pieces of wood and branches for your next project. Alright, so check out the Amazon link. Hope you enjoyed seeing this book. This has been We All Juggle Knives.